the Football Manager 2022 beta is here. And as much as I want to convince myself that because of my Let's Play with Newcastle United, you're all doing career modes with them too, I know that's not the case. And whilst we had a top 10 Wonder Kids video drop, there's loads of you that maybe don't have any money to spend in your first transfer window. And that's why today we're looking at the top 10 free agents in FM22. I do hope you enjoy this video, guys. Drop a like on it. As always, let me know if there's any players that I've not covered in this list that should be here that you've been utilising. And uh, yeah, let's get into this countdown, shall we? So kicking off our countdown, we have Danny Alves. You know this guy. If you don't know this guy, go Google him. Go look at his Wikipedia. But you must be young. He's great. He's amazing. 38 years old, 119 caps for Brazil, 20 determination, and he's got 18 natural fitness. Um, I mean, you can see here, in terms of actual quality, he's probably one of the best players on this list, but he is 38, so how long that quality is going to last is kind of up for debate. Also worth noting before you sign him, uh, he's on a sabbatical until January um, of 2022. So if you're starting in England or anywhere else in Europe for that matter, uh, you are going to have to wait six months before he'll actually play football for you should you choose to sign him. But it is very possible to sign him. Perfectionist personality makes him a really, really good tutor as well. And to be honest, he could do a killer job at centre mid even once his physicals start to drop. Um, even if his player traits maybe don't perfectly suit it in terms of preferred moves, as far as deep line playmakers go, I mean, let me let me just let me just show you. I'm spending far too long talking about him, but it's bloody Danny Alves. I mean, look at that. Even when his legs have gone, even when he loses the ability to run, he's still going to be a quality centre mid. So uh, yeah, snap him up. Wait six months. He'll come good for you. I guarantee it. And unless he gets injured, then I mean, no refunds. So the next player in this countdown is Sebastian Cristoforo. I hope I've said that correctly. A Uruguayan centre mid, but fret not. He has Italian secondary nationality and he's a bloody good player. Super, super well-rounded. Kind of the jack of all trades, master of none. But if you're looking for someone who can maybe play as a deep line playmaker, play as a box-to-box -box midfielder, I think he's definitely a player worth considering. As you can see, spent the last few years playing in Spain and Italy. Prior to that, played in Uruguay. Actually, a player who's played quite a lot of football in La Liga over the last few years and in Syria. He's not got anything super standout about him, but he's not really got a weakness either. There had to be a goalkeeper somewhere in this countdown. We've gone with Miguel Angel Moya. Wow. Yes, he's 37. The man can still goalkeep, though. He might not be the quickest player off the line anymore with his 10 acceleration, but he is a super experienced goalkeeper, as you can see. Played his entire career in Spain, but for the swan song of his career, you might be able to lure him elsewhere. A player who is very, very good when it comes to his distribution. 16 kicking, uh, also really, really good throwing at 14. And with good strength, he can launch a long throw or two. Has some really good veteran experience, decent determination. So if you're looking to get a couple of older players into the team, ready to be slightly more influential, maybe even to mentor some younger goalkeepers, he could be very, very good for that. His aerial ability from set pieces is great in terms of coming to collect the ball with 15 aerial reach, really good jumping reach, and also some pretty good communication at 14. And of all the goalkeepers available on a free, for me, he is the best. Now, if you're someone who likes to use and abuse set pieces, if you want to just have some towering defenders you can chuck forward on corners and such, I've got the man for you. Jozo Simonovic. He is a Bosnian youngster. I say youngster. In this list, he's quite young. 27 years old, 17 jumping reach, 16 heading. They're the two standout things alongside his bravery and aggression. I'm not going to BS you. He's not the craziest when it comes to his pace, but he's either footed. He's got some OK passing in terms of defenders that are available on a free. He's certainly not the best by any means, but he's got plenty of years left ahead of him. And he's a pretty scary player who will go to a wide variety of clubs without asking for too much money. So, yeah, if you're lacking that defensive piece of the puzzle, that secret weapon to have up your back pocket, maybe you just want a player who's really good at jumping and heading. Check out Jozo. He's, he's pretty decent. In at number six, we have Federico Cartabia. Uh, what a tremendous attacking player this man is. Not too many wide players in this list. Cartabia 
is one of them though. As you can see, 28 years old, so not the wrong side of 30 either. He has a few years left in the tank. Great pace, great acceleration, his agility and dribbling and flair. Just his general ability on the ball is fairly unmatched. Can also slot in a deeper wide midfielder role as a centre attacking mid or as a striker. The last couple of years he's been playing in the UAE. Prior to that, he played all of his football in Spain. As a result, he has got Spanish secondary nationality, which I know is always useful to have. I feel like whenever people see South American players pop up in this list, they always wonder about work permits. But yes, Federico Cartabier, one of the best free agents in terms of wingers available, not too old either. And uh, well, it's for those reasons, he's in this countdown. Up next in this countdown, we have one of a number of the defenders here. Yeah, the, in the top 10 wonder kids, there wasn't that many defenders. Sydney makes up one of the many defenders in this list, and he's another really good centre-back. I guess the standout attribute is that 16 heading, but beyond that, great aggression, great jumping reaches, stamina and strength are good too. He has fairly ambitious personality, so could be slightly useful for mentoring, I suppose. And well, when it comes to his technicals, they are not bad either. 15 passing, 15 marking, and part of that up with 14 passing and 12 first touch. This is a man who can play the ball out from the back for you. Really good player, not too expensive. Few players coming up in this list, slightly younger than him in the same position. But in terms of current ability, he's a very, very capable defender. Up next, we have Matteo Masaccio. Uh, a few of you will have heard of him. I would hope he's been playing in Serie A for the last few years. Bit of a household name of European football. Started his career at Villarreal, moved to Milan for 15.75 million. Last couple of years haven't quite gone to plan for him. And after playing only a handful against Lazio, he finds himself as a free agent. Now, for those of you who want a centre-back who's tremendous in the air, he isn't really going to be for you. But if you're someone who has a defence that like to play out from the back, he's a really good player in that regard. As you can see, he is 30 years old. Good little bit of news. He's got Italian secondary nationality. So if you're managing in Europe, that might help with the work permit situation. And at 30 years old, whilst he's not getting any younger, with 15 natural fitness and perfectionist personality, he could be a really useful kind of experienced player to have who could certainly do a job mentoring and really helping you nurture through any young defensive talent. Taking the bronze medal, coming in at number three, it's Perlinio. He had to be in this list somewhere, didn't he? And you might wonder... Well, why is he not a little bit higher? Polinio probably is the best player on this list in terms of just current ability. But the reality is, at least in my save game, he went to Manchester United. He's not going to be possible to sign in each and every save game. He has pretty high wage demands. There is a reason for that, though. He's absolutely bloody brilliant. Nothing below a 10 in this example here. Just looks absolutely top draw. Had his contract terminated in Saudi Arabia um, after moving there before he even made a single appearance. And it goes without saying. I mean, it's Polinio. You know who Polinio is if you've watched a little bit of football over the years. He's played for Barcelona. He's played for Tottenham. He's probably the best player in this list just on paper. I just, I can't justify putting him higher because for most people, he's not going to be that easy to sign, if at all possible. In at number two, we have Angel Romero. This chap is a Paraguayan international with quite a lot of experience. 29 years old, though. As you can see, looking at his attributes here, 17 determination stands out. Some really good physicals, and in general, just a super well-rounded, talented player. Has only ever played in South America, but spent the last couple of years playing for San Lorenzo in Argentina, and he is available on a free. Um, super, super well-rounded. His mentals and physicals don't have anything below a nine, and that makes him just an ideal player to either play as a striker, play quite a complete role, or to play out in the wide areas. But make no mistake, he is a tremendous talent. Go and sign him. He will bag you goals. And he's just a super well-rounded player who will be willing to move to a fair few clubs, having never played in Europe before. And finally, in at number one, we have Joris Nyanon, who is a French centre-back, 24 years old. And, uh, well, a bit of a, a downward spiral his career has taken in recent years. He moved from Rennes to Sevilla for £12 million. He was loaned back, and, well, in the last two years, he's not played any football. He was t terminated from his contract early at Sevilla uh, just after the start of this season, and as a result, you can snap him up in Football Manager. 24 years old, so plenty of years left ahead of him, and like a lot of players in this list, he is you know, still relatively early on in his career. Great aerial ability, 15 jumping reach, 17 strength, great bravery and aggression as well. 
Uh, 15 heading, just a bit of a set piece weapon. And uh, I think it goes without saying he's a tremendous little talent. And the fact there's a player who's available on a free who's this good makes him a pretty ideal signing in FM. And it's for that reason he's in at number one. And that wraps up today's countdown. Thank you so much for watching. As always, check out the other top 10 and top 5 videos we have here on the channel. There is a playlist on the end screen. And until next time, it is me, Jack. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more content like this. And I'll see you all next time. I'm out.